Since James is gone on one of his missions, I took it upon myself to finally get some work done. And then I forgot about working and rented a Jeep to head up north with Kib for a fishing trip. <laughs> hey! Is this your new ride? Kinda. I mean, it's, it's for a day. Just I've never right had off. like a Jeep Just before. Just come right off. Hey, we're up for some streamies. I heard. Worst show, best show, last show, first show. Actually, bitch, it's best editing, best directing, best comedy series, and show of the year. Get it right next time. We're award nominees. Make sure it dribbles in, dude. That's the only way I come inside. With a dribble. We're an award nominated show. You can't say things like that anymore. So let me show you the car. Show me it. Here we go. And right here, it's a oh, Rubicon. Dude. At first, I was gonna let this be just like any other day, but then I remembered that Kib ruins my life pretty much every chance he gets. So I figured with his broken down Honda, it'd be kind of funny to play a practical joke on him by inferring that the Jeep could potentially be his. So this is where you'll be staying, at least for the foreseeable future. Perhaps someday, you'll take that seat over there. You want me to drive this bad boy? Is that day today, little girl? Yeah, ah, more, maybe more than just drive it. I've always wanted a G Cherokee, and this baby's next in line. I know you've uh, you've needed a car for a while. Truly, yeah. Someday, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard see if I can scrap together a couple. Uh, see, so I had to go to Dunkirk to see if I could scrap together. See if I can go to Dunkirk, grab a couple bodies, glue them together, grab some tire irons, and pop on one. I'm not gonna get it. I tried to make my plans for the Jeep as transparent as possible, but Kib was not picking up on any of it. A car like this might suit you. Suit you better than going to Dunkirk and finding some dead bodies and... Someday, someday. Maybe that day is today, who knows? Maybe someday is today. Maybe that day is today, who maybe, knows? Maybe, maybe someday is today. Maybe I bought this car for you. Who knows? Like, maybe, maybe I just... Maybe, maybe I, I did. did. No, I'm maybe saying maybe I... I my patience was wearing thin. I got you the car. I have the deed, I have the contract. I'll have you sign it later today. So it's yours now. What you're saying is this is my car now? Are you joking? Yes. Train's gone. Let's do it. I gotta. There was no train. Oh my dick, dude. You know I'm hard. Don't throw a bottle at my heart. Please erect just stop penis. yelling at me. I'm sick. I'm just trying to live a normal life today. What the fuck is this? Is that James? Hey. James? God damn it. Give me in. God damn. Give me the car. I don't know how famous actor James Allen McCune found himself 300 miles north in the middle of a desert town with only a box of Modelo, and I wasn't that interested to find out. Punch it. Get it, get go! Holy James, shit. are you drunk again? Yes! Is this good, James? They're gonna get me! Who's gonna get you? Who? The Buckaloo! Please, can we please just go fishing? Well, we were gonna go fishing, just you and I, but now James is here, what are we gonna do? He's not coming with. James was coming with. I was frustrated, and so were the cars behind us. Take it easy. Who are you running from? The Buckaloo. What is the Buckaloo? The you are so stupid, you mean the Babadook. Yeah, you mean the Babadook. That bitch is scary but she's got nice tits. Well, no, Probably. you're thinking of Barbara Streisand. That's right, I'm thinking of Barbara Streisand. Jogged! This is a three hour jog at least. Oh, more than three oh, hours. Oh yeah, five hours probably. Ah! Chicos y chicas van cantos de felicidad. Let's go fishing. At long last, we made it to Lake Piru. Welcome aboard the SS, here we go. You know any frog catching areas? There's frogs all over the place. The other day we had a huge bullfrog and thing was like that big. What about uh, slime frogs? We uh, got them in where I'm from. Nah, I don't know. We just, just sliding like around on the bellies, ones. the little tiny bellies. Yeah. Slime frogs. <laughs> They're great. I love them. Um. All right, I'll admit it. I wanted to be the cabin boy. I got a little tired of having the leading power roll on the vessel. What's the cabin boy? Cabin boy gets to do this. Cabin boy gets to do a little bit of that. Then what does that make James Allen McCune? Cabin boy. No, you're not both cabin boys. We're cabin brothers. Cabin brothers. But do you want to be cabin brothers? Me, me, me. Yeah. How'd you know? What do I have cabin to do? Cabin brothers. What, what's the secret code to be cabin brothers? Check this out. I'll fuck you up, I'll fuck you up, I'll fuck you up. I actually respect you as a human being. Gotcha. Dalai Lama. Dalai Muhammad. Orange Creator. Roddy Reckie's Big Red Rash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess I'm a cabin boy now. Cabin boy initiated. Thank you so much. Off the boat. All right. The shore's right there. I gotta go. I gotta go. James, just throw it in, dude. Sorry, I have to go in reverse. Stop. Stop. 
You're Stop gonna hurt doing yourself, that. Dude. I'm, I have to put it in God, neutral. Dude. It's gonna hurt God, you. God, dude. It's gonna hurt you. Ah! God, stop it, please. Oh, fuck, you're gonna hit yourself. Every time you're so close. Force! Every time you're stop! so close. How are you gonna make it go I'm slow? done filming this. James continued to swing the anchor around for another 20 minutes until one of the blood vessels in his arms popped and he cried for another 20 minutes. For God's sake. Get off my ship when you're doing that, idiot. Let it go down. Lift it up. Careful with my ship. It's not your ship. Here's the weird thing about that bitch. I haven't told anyone about this, and we don't have HR in the office. But if we did, I'd be sure to let them know. For some reason, when Kib drinks, he only acts weird around me. Nobody else, just me. Here, Steve, take off your shirt and pants, do you understand? Stop. I need you to take your shirt out, do you understand? Stop. I need you to take your shirt Stop. off. Why are you doing this? I just need you to take your pants out, do you understand? He doesn't even know how to fish. It's kind of really irking me. Cat boys don't argue, though. Whatever. Ready? Oh, it's there we go, there's an even cast. Get away from me! Don't come near me. I don't know what's wrong with you. What are you talking about? I'm just acting really weird. Well, I've had a little alcohol. I get a little uh, sensitive. Oh man, I want a beer. You want one? Yeah. Oh, sweet mystery of life at last I found. We'd only been out on the water for, I'd say, upwards of eight minutes, and famous actor James Allen McCune managed to drink every single beer we had. That's 48 beers. It was supposed to be 16 per person. Instead, we got shafted. Between this and Kib asking me if I understand, this was the worst boating experience of my entire life. Well, stop! I'm checking the waters. Think it's a bass? Maybe rocks off? Square pike? Bean fairs? Oh, I actually got something. Holy tits. No way. I look, I got a fish. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No. Oh, no. It counts, bitch. It counts. Oh, a blue heron. How can you tell? Because I know I'm from Canada, idiot. That doesn't just mean you know everything about nature. It's just like Crocodile Dundee. He knows everything about crocodiles and Dundee. Because he studied it for years and went to college exactly. for it. Exactly. That's why I know, because I'm from Canada. You didn't go to college. You barely went Let to high school. Let me reiterate. Okay. I barely went to college. Yeah. I barely went to Canada. Correct. I barely went to school. I can barely spell. I can barely read. I can barely write. But I can drive with my feet. And you're going the complete wrong way towards the anchor. <laughs> Catch anything? Catch anything? Oh! <laughs> okay, James. We're just gonna take it. That was really good, actually. Okay, now I need you to take your shirt and pants off. Do you understand? I'm just glad he wasn't doing this to me anymore. Oh my god! Guess who's the man of the hour today? Man, I'm not looking forward to getting this off. Too bad it's smaller than mine. Bang -bang. Little girl? Have Thank fun, you. okay? Have fun. There she goes. I don't know how, but when we turned around, famous actor James Allen McCune found himself on a river bathroom. We didn't hear him enter the water, nor did he say anything upon leaving. He just appeared there. He just was. I got it. Get ready. No, 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 no. How are you still drunk? It's been what five the hours. What is wrong with James Okay, here we go. Today? Are we ready to make the I got it. And James, just grab a hold of my hand. Oh, God. Grab a hold of it. And God, 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 God. James, don't. I got it. I got it. All right. Good night, James. Good night, James. Yeah. Okay. Okay, famous actor James Allen McCune. I'm gonna roll him over, okay, Steve, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's a stage nine yeah, drowning. He's had his head in the water for at least 37.31 seconds. Is that worse than a stage nine? A stage 11, idiot. He's either dead or drowning. I can't tell. We need to assess the situation. James, are you okay? James, I said, are you okay? I need CPR now. Stat. Fire these babies up! Ring, gig, 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 gig. Ring, gig, 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 gig. He's gonna be okay. You don't need anything from me? He needs a cup of water and a man to soothe his nightmares. Come, Come on, on, wake James. up. Wake up. Wake up, little guy. Come on, wake up. 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 Oh, he's gonna be okay. I didn't get that in his mouth at he's all. He's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's the last time I will ever go boating with my friends. Guaranteed. There's nothing that anyone could say that can make me ever go fishing with them ever again. Dude, you wanna go fishing? Yes! Since the day was coming to a close, I needed Kib to know that the Jeep wasn't his. And I was starting to feel a little bad about pranking him. Why? Well, when you got so excited when I, like, briefly joked that it might be your Jeep, I, I didn't know how to say no, because I've never seen that happy before time you're giving me a Jeep and then you're taking it away in the same day. I didn't mean to even pretend like I was giving you a Jeep, it just sort of came out because I thought it was funny. That's fucked. You just pointed at my dick. That's fucked too. It's not fucked. What is it? You don't just get to tell your friend that you buy him a car and then take it away and remove it. I was just, oh. 
I'll, I'll fix again. the transmission in your Honda. You're an idiot. This is not your I'm car. the idiot. Look who's driving a brand new Jeep. It's not brand, it's 2000. Who's an idiot now? Hey, dude. You guys having fun? Oh, what a day! What a day. Shitty car. How do you like driving it, James? I'm sobering up. 